how many times a week does the average Filipina want to have sex? I can be, I can, you know, I can do it every day. But, you know, yeah, because I am really aggressive girl. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me again, Sissy Kelly, the hot mama. So for today's video, I am going to answer all of the questions for my subscribers. And thank you so much for dropping by, guys. And by the way, sorry for the noise because the chicken here is so noisy. So yeah, be before anything else, I would like to say thank you, thank you so much to all my subscribers, to all my supporters, because without you guys, I cannot reach this level. How are you all guys? I hope you're doing great. I hope you're doing well. So today is Thursday and it's really hot in here guys. So as you can see, I have this, um, we call lantai. This is, uh, yeah, I, I asked the guy to make uh, a chair on, a, on our backyard. So sorry, I'm so sorry for, for my uh, late, um, answers about your questions guys it's because i am really busy lately it's, we're working about our house you know we're putting it we're, yeah we, we put a's in our house and also to some you know some important matter and also i am back to uh, band so i am glad that uh, i am i can sing again so without further ado let's get started so the comment goes like this. In your opinion, what are the best places in the Philippines for an expat from North America to relocate to? Well, for me, based on my experience, um, I think better to stay in Negros Oriental, which is in Valencia because it's not that hot and, you know, you are... You are not that far in the city also, guys. So, um, we've been there for more than two years before. So, we used to go in Plaza, you know. I bring my kids with my partner before. And, yeah, um, I think that Valencia is the best place for you to relocate. But this is just only my opinion. It's really up to you guys if you want to really relocate in the other side. Because I've never been to the other you know um place so yeah i think um negros oriental or valencia is the best for you to stay to relocate i mean the second question is this is coming from mr madborg this is one of my loyal subscriber here and thank you so much um les for always supporting my videos as always so the comment it goes like this I will ask in your opinion, what month would you recommend to me to visit Philippines for the first time for best experience? Meaning not too hot, wet, or busy. Okay, so the best time to travel to the Philippines is in the dry season between January and April. This period enjoys hot yet pleasant temperatures and avoids to the uh, the humidity of the summer months. Uh, the peak season here in Philippines is March to May. Because, you know, that's really hot in here, guys. It's really hot. It's Yeah, now it's May. It's really hot. That's why we decided to put AC in our room, you know. Because we're, we're sweating so much here, guys. Every single day. So these are the hottest three months in the Philippines and are locally known as summer. Although meteorologists refer to this period as the dry season. This is the country's peak season because travel between islands is easiest during this period and delays due to the tropical storms or typhoons are rare. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, sometimes guys, you know, um, even, even the month of May, there's a typhoon, you know, like yesterday. Um, I mean... Yeah, it's been two days already that it's it's raining. Like, you know, now it's, I mean, during the day, it's very hot. And then um, in the afternoon or in the evening, it's it's already rainy, raining, you know. So, yeah, <laughs> like when I was 
going to our gig oh my goodness it's raining like it's raining not that much but it, it's it's still raining you know you can still get wet so yeah <laughs> how is your health now i'm doing good i'm doing I'm, I'm i'm feeling better but to be honest i still have this pain on my chest i don't know how 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 long it takes to heal guys because um i am drinking medicine a barley but it it helps it 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 helps really not not like before before it's really really painful but now i can i am used to it already you know i i can handle and also i can sleep good now not like before that you know every time that i you know every night i i, I am very afraid when during nighttime because you know um i i cannot sleep because of my anxiety you know it's a depression so yeah it is what it is you know that but i am very thankful that i i, I found this um medicine because i found this in uh facebook so i'm glad that i found that because it helps me a lot uh what is your favorite movie favorite movie i don't know i don't yeah. before i i used to watch netflix but now we don't have tv anymore <laughs> and we just only use wi-fi or you know watching phone and yeah I, to be honest now i don't really watch um tv or movie because i am really busy you know i'm doing my this um my small business i'm running my small business here and so and also i'm taking care of the kids you know yeah life is tough sometimes but yeah it is what it is Thank you for asking, Mr. Madborg. How about you, Mr. Madborg? I know you are too busy now, but any sports you used to play? Well, before I used to run, but now I stopped because I have problem on my knee. So I prefer to do home workout than dragging. <laughs> I have a question. Do they make trailers to, be, to go behind your motorbikes? So, when you go get and uh, get water, so you, you could take more than one drug. Yeah, they do. Okay, this is coming from Glenn Hitchens. Hi, Glenn. <laughs> Thank you for always there to support my videos. Um, hi, Stephanie. Nice picture. Motorcycle rental in Sikihor. Is it best to rent or stay if they have? Or independent hire or independent hire though they provide helmets when hire bikes thanks well yeah there's a lot of motorcycle rentals here especially when you are in the port you know when you arrive in the port there's a lot of rentals you know I mean motor rentals so um, the cost is around 400 to 450 pesos I guess it depends on the motorbike when you know because it's not the same when you get a, a big one so it's much um it's much more expensive than a normal one so if you just only get the normal one maybe you, i mean i think if you get for a week well you can i think you, you will get a discount guys so better to yeah better to ask the guy you know or don't uh, don't, uh, don't forget to ask that, you know, can you give me a discount since I'm going to stay here for three days, something like that, you know. So I think better to bargain. Yeah, I always do that, guys. I always bargain because, you know, this is how we save money, <laughs> right? Comment down below if you, if you agree with me, guys. So, and also, yeah, they, they provide helmets because, you know, safety first. And also, there's a lot of checkpoint here in Sikihor, guys. You know, so better. And also, guys, use your helmet all the time because it's really, really, um, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's for your safety, okay? You know, we don't really know the accident, you know, like me, you know, with my kids. We had an accident last November and now I have... A lot of scars here and here and i have keloid here i have more keloids <laughs> i have many questions this is coming from luis deyas how old are you <laughs> which island you live in 
Hello, Luis Diaz. I am 30 years old. I'm I'm old, Charis joke. <laughs> so I live in Sikihor here in um, Maria. So this is the final question, guys. So this is coming from Judy, Texas. This is a little bit um what do you call that? It's 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 a little bit dirty question, you know. <laughs> it's not a question because this guy is commenting on on the video uh, when I did the interview with Christine. Remember her? She's a very funny girl. So the comment, it goes like this. I'm a new subscriber and I just recently found your channel. I have a question that I hope you can answer and possible add to your interviews in the future. The question is... How many times a week does the average Filipino want to have sex? In my case, maybe before, in my experience before, guys, well, in a week, I can be, I can, you know, I can do it every day. But, you know, yeah, because I am really aggressive, girl. <laughs> yes, I am. So, oh my God, sorry for the noise of the chicken, guys. Yeah, it really depends on the other girls because some of the girls are very, you know, um, shy to ask their partner about, you know, having sex with them. Having, I mean, having sex with their partner. So, yeah, it really depends on the girl. I should maybe, yeah, I should ask someone <laughs> how many times they have sex, you know. I mean, they have sex in a week. Well, for me, it could be, you know, like every single day. <laughs> yeah, no. Sometimes I, yeah, I don't, ha you know, because it's it depends on on my mood, on the how busy I am, how busy my partner is, you know. So, but to be honest, guys, I'm not shy to ask my partner to, you know, make love because you know it's a pleasure, you know, to have sex with our partner. But now. I don't have a partner anymore. <laughs> but it's okay, you know. Um, I'm not in a hurry. Um, I'm still, I'm waiting for the right time, the right guy. If time will come. When, um, to be honest, I don't really like a guy when it's really, when it's very, very old. It's okay for me when the guy is, you know, my standard is I like a guy when, when he is hot <laughs> like me because, you know, I'm still... I'm still young, you know. So I think it's around fifty. It's it's okay, you know, as long as he's he's doing. I mean, his feet. You know, he loves me. If and also he he loves my kids. Well, it's okay for me. And also, um, the important is a good heart. When he has a good heart, well, we are the same. We were. We, yeah, I am. I am. I. I also. I also have a good heart, guys. I'm very, very glad that, you know, I am like this. You know, I am always positive, always smiling in front of you, in front of other people. So, yeah, this is me. <laughs> so, guys, and I hope that you like this video. And leave a comment down below. Please don't forget to share this video, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, and God bless you. Bye-bye. See you in my next vlog.